see, Asia's hair has some really beautiful color, uh, a lot of face frame in the front. And so what I'm gonna do is add some clip-ins that will kind of complement the existing color that she has right now in her hair. So she has a triangular one length haircut, which is like very blunt, like a long bob. So one way to avoid having to trim your own hair so that it can blend with the clip-ins is to start inserting them maybe midway up the head and further up. The only thing that you want to be conscious of when you're putting in your clip-ins is where your natural part is because based on where your natural part is will determine how far up on your head you can put the clip-ins in without them being revealed because the object is for it to look as natural as possible. So one of the key items that you'll need is a comb that has uh, easy ability to part. So I like to use this comb, it's called a rat tail comb. So I'm just gonna part maybe midway up at the top of the nape of her neck. And I'm gonna start with a little bit of color. So I use these alligator clips because they work really well. And there's no real science to this. It's very easy and very fast. So if you only had 10 or 15 minutes to style your hair, that would be more than enough time. So I'm gonna start with uh, one of the clips that has three combs on it. It looks like this. It's very easy. You pop the combs open, there's just three of them. If you have hair that's relatively fine, you would need to start by back combing your hair and maybe adding some hairspray to keep it in place. Another thing you could do is use one of those mini crimpers and create like a small crimp in the area where you wanna clip the combs. Asia's hair is relatively thick, so we shouldn't have a problem. I just like to use a little working spray just in the area where I'm gonna spray the clip-ins. Three dabs, and I use a comb that has the ability to back comb, if you guys can see. It's got teeth, and then it has small, tiny teeth in between that. And you just insert them, super easy. So you clip the first one, and there, I've inserted the first set, just like that. And instantly, we've added about eight inches to her hair, so cool. And so I'm just gonna make another part. You can use your comb or you can use the clip, whichever is easiest for you. And the part doesn't have to be exactly straight. You just have to have a canvas where you'll have enough room to clip all the clips that are on the clip in. I just part it again, come back in with our same spray. I spray the little areas where I'm gonna clip the comb. Our clip ins offer wefts that have three combs as well as four combs and small ones so that you can add them around the face. In this instance, I've just popped the clips open, all three of them. We're gonna come in and tack them on again. You see there's some color just like that. And no commitment, not having to bleach your hair. And this time I'm gonna to begin to include the hair from the front of her face when I part. And so the last one that I added was light. So I'm gonna come back in with a darker piece. This one has four combs on there instead of three. Pop the combs open. And again, if your hair is really fine, Maybe perhaps before you spray this working spray, you would just back comb your hair a little bit so that you could ensure that the clips would stay. And sometimes you just wanna change your look. Another thing that clip-ins are great for is if you're going on vacation or if you're going on a night on the town and you want to have something different. I feel like I'm falling asleep though because I'm just like massaging my hair. It's really nice. <laughs> How's it looking guys? Good? Awesome. Add a little bit more spray. Now is this a spray that comes with these extensions or can you use any? No, this is just any volumizing hairspray. You could just use your favorite. I like to use uh, what's called working spray. So a spray that's not very hard, 
so that you still have the ability to comb through your hair or like after we take the clippings out you can still use this same hair without having to come back in and wash your hair and so I'm popping them open as I go and I just lay them flat and apply pressure on the two ends of the clips and it installs them so in that instance I just used one that had four combs and I still have a little space on the opposite end so what I'm gonna do is come in and apply a single clip on this side so you can see it blends really well <laughs> instant long hair amazing I haven't had this <laughs> so what I'm gonna do now is begin to add some of the darker pieces I'm just uh, gonna work from side to side now for a little bit because as you get to the top then you have to be more strategic in your placement to ensure that you don't have any clips showing and this color is the same as Asia's base her natural color or just a little bit lighter and I'll go in and do the same thing on the other side. As was said before we started, I never had extensions before. I thought that they would be actually heavy, but they feel very natural and feel very light. Is that just the particular clip on, or is that how they hold versus like other Um, I think, in my experience, I think that clip-ins are kind of a very easy route to take. It feels a a little bit lighter and less maintenance than perhaps having like a wig on or maybe a full head of extensions so after you've had a night out on the town with these in your hair once you get home it's always good to take them out before you go to bed so you don't have any extra stress on your hair from the combs being in there And so now that we're at the top, I'm going to add a few light pieces just to create a little bit of face frame and a little bit of sunshine. So I have a few different shades here of light. I think I'm going to go with these more uh, golden. And so these just have one clip in them. So you just pop the clip open and insert them. And for those of you that are interested in color, this is, like I was saying, a great, great way to really spice up your hair without being committed to color process. Sometimes getting your hair colored with this kind of style would be very, very expensive. And the fun with this is that you can place these anywhere on your head. place just about all that we need and then now I just go in and smooth it all out so anywhere where you see there would be like a little break between your natural hair and the clip-ins you would just pick some of that hair up and you will hold it out sideways and you'll just use a little bit of the same working spray you've been using before and you use the curling iron and be sure never to overheat your hair or your clip-ins that will let them last longer I typically like to use a hairspray that also serves as a heat protectant and you just put a few little light waves in the hair. And there are many ways that you can curl. I just like to use this ribbon method. And the curls will typically last all day and they'll even stay in the clip-ins once you take them out of your head. Pick up the next piece. Just kind of add a little bit of uh, the working spray again. Add it on both sides. And then it doesn't really matter which direction you curl the hair in. Sometimes curling it in two directions will give it a more natural look. I'm gonna curl in the direction that the clip-ins are already curled in, so it's kind of a cohesive pattern. 
it gives you the chance to totally change and enhance your look right at home in the privacy of your own bathroom or in your room if you do your hair in your room <laughs> and this looks so amazing I can't believe how we were able to create such dimension with so many different awesome complementary colors and just like that and if you like you can add a little spray at the end just to marry all the hair together and there you have it <laughs> and I'll show you guys one quick thing also like say you wanted to create a little style once you have all these colors in a really cool thing you can do is like make a cool braid and one of the most attractive things about having a braid is having different hues or colors of hair and so once you have the braid in just kind of braid it to the end and then you just spread it out a little bit I like to do one side at a time it's just really a sultry, cool, amazing look. But this gives you the ability to have the beachy waves and have a little bit of style also.